to our second episode of MBD and You, where we focus on bringing you information and our strategic vision, as well as plans to enhance our customer experience and efficiency at the bank. Today on MBD and You, we are introducing our Executive Manager of Personal Banking, Michael Joseph. Michael joined the NBD family in June this year, and I would like to welcome Michael to NBD and to Dominica. And Michael, would you introduce yourself to our customers? Thank you, Suzanne, and ha I'm happy to be here in Dominica. My name is Michael Joseph from your sister island, St. Lucia. I live my life of simplicity and I value family time. I govern my life with four main principles, which is fairness to everyone I meet, respect, integrity, and a positive mindset. I have now integrated these values into banking, which is the foundation of my success. As a chartered banker and over 23 years in experience in both local and regional banks, I plan to bring better efficiency to our processes and our customer service. So customers, you've just met Michael, and as you've heard him say, he is here to help us elevate customer experience at NBD. So Michael, um, we boast a large customer base at NBD. And on occasion, our banking halls can become very crowded. And as a result, customers can experience long wait times and frustration. Could you share with us some of your strategies for improving customer service and support in our branches? Thank you, Suzanne. I've noticed the lines are always long at National Bank. To address this matter, I believe the staff is the greatest asset and the most important asset of the organization. And in giving them training and equipping them with the necessary tools, we could create world-class service. We have also implemented branch ambassadors at all our branches to actually assist the customers in terms of knowing where to go for to make a deposit and also even guided them towards showing them how to use the ATM. We have also established our senior lines at all our branches because you know seniors are dear to our heart. We also have an appointment system for new accounts to create better efficiency and manage our customer expectations. And Suzanne, my long-term goal is to automate the teller service where customers could walk in branch and perform a teller transaction with the card only and no vouchers. I know vouchers has been a hot topic for many years and also we, we saving the planet by eliminating vouchers. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to you, yes, Suzanne? sounds good. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I'm also working on a queue management system where customers could actually log in from the telephone and actually see which branch is busy or not, which would manage the expectations. In doing so, I could say I could do an errand instead of actually coming to the bank, which is reduce the amount of people waiting in our bank in all. So I believe managing the customer's expectation is very important. So I believe these initiatives can greatly improve our efficiency. That sounds very good, Michael. Um, you mentioned the appointment system for opening right. accounts. Would you be able to give us some more information on that? Um, what do our customers need to be aware of? And how does it work in practice? Yes, I've been a customer myself and going to some institutions, you have to wait in a long line to actually get service to actually open an account. So I believe the appointment system would improve our efficiency. You could come into in branch or you could call and make an appointment. In doing so, we would provide you with the necessary information to open the account, the list of the requirements, and you make an appointment at a time that is convenient to you. Very good. In doing so, we manage your expectations and we also have a time to actually explore any other options that you may be interested in the bank. In terms of, I believe also, when you look at banking, we look at 
being a member of a club? Why wouldn't I want to know all the benefits of a club? So having this appointment time would be able to explore the benefits and you would be able to maximize your membership with National Bank. So in essence, we would be bringing a more personalized... Personalized touch to, to bank. That's right. So Michael, we've recently undergone an organizational restructuring with the primary objective of enhancing efficiency and elevating our customer experience. What are some of the changes that have been made to your department and how do you anticipate that these changes will directly contribute to improving the customer experience for valued customers? That's well noted, Suzanne. One of our main changes is rebranding banking services into what is called personal banking. When we say personal banking, we take a keen interest in your personal financials, your personal financial development. So this means you could walk into a branch and get your credit card, your debit card, your mortgage, and right there and then you know, you are actually in a branch and will not be referred to another branch. So personal banking will take a holistic approach to your financial development. So let me clarify. You're saying that, for example, loans, if I walked into the Hillsborough Street branch, right. I can see someone there who can guide me through the loan process, for Correct. example. Correct, that is correct. Okay, that's fantastic. And you could walk into our Portsmouth branch and you could walk into our Bayfront branch and get that similar Same service. service. So we're looking at something which is uniform mm -hmm. across our branches. Okay, awesome. And ultimately develop a great customer experience. Okay, great. Fast forward to 2025. Could you paint a picture for us of your vision of what our banking experience will be? what our customers' banking journey will be in that exciting future that you're building. That's very important, Suvan, because what I believe in 2025, uh, for me, you and our customers, is ease of banking. How would you feel sitting on your bed and typing a text to our bank, indicating that you want a loan tomorrow? and we, able, we are able to facilitate. How do you think, of, what do you feel about that? <laughs> well, that would be the ultimate for me. Correct. So this is the way, this is my thinking in terms of having a digital bank, 24 hour support, and actually personalizing our customer service uh, through digital channels. So I believe ease of banking is the main thing for us. So our customers do not have any stress and coming into the bank would be a thing of the past. Well, thank you, Michael. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to being on this journey with you. It sounds very exciting and I'm sure our customers are also looking forward to it. Um, before we close this episode of NBDNU, is there anything else that you'd like to tell our customers? Sure, Suzanne. It's been a pleasure discussing the future of personal banking with you and we are committed to serving you with excellence and innovation and you know we're here to take you along to this exciting journey of change so feel free to call us up and you know we will be happy to serve you thank you Suzanne so there you have it. You've just met Michael and I'm sure many of you will bump into Michael on the streets. And when you do, please say hi. And I'm sure also you will be asking Michael your banking questions and he will be very happy to answer your banking questions. So we are at the end of our second episode of NBDNU and next time we will be having another guest from NBD to bring you some more vital information on how we are improving our customer experience journey at the National Bank of Dominica Limited. So hit the like button on this video and share with your friends. There's a lot of important information that we'd like all our customers to know. So 
See you next time.